So it's time to head off for another weekend of racing, although this time it's something I've definitely, definitely never done before. Heading off to White River now this morning for the 24-hour kart race in a deal that was done about 12 hours ago, uh, courtesy of Leo uh, over motorsport.e. I have no idea what I'm letting myself in for, but we'll see what happens and give it a bit of crack. I mean, 24-hour racing seems to go crack to start with, so we'll see what happens. There should have been a vlog for my first race weekend, which was two or three weeks ago, but... I mean, technical issues of every kind happened. Uh, the engine went down on power, and we didn't have a great, we didn't have a chance to fix it over the weekend. And then I also lost my voice, which is kind of critical for this whole vlog thing, I know. But yeah, so we're heading off now. It's now currently 27 in the morning, so it's going to be a long weekend. Something I didn't really plan on, but sure. <laughs> So we've just had a qualifying and practice for the 24 hour kart race here in White River. Very nice day as you can see. The karts are incredibly different to drive from what I'm used to. We had good pricing in practice but we're losing, every time we come for driver changes, this one of the two engines is cutting out and we're losing. Obviously there's a lot of time doing that so I didn't even get a qualifying lap in. We're down in P13 but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter. 24 hours a lot of time to make up. Uh, it's like a long start for the karts and I'm just starting the race so it's going to be interesting. Honestly it's, just, it's going to be the best crack probably had all year at the moment. And See what happens. As you can see, the track's very nice, very dry. It's also quite quick on one of these cars. <laughs> They're incredibly quick, There's a lot of grip in them, and we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna put a flashy buzz in for this now. I just can't wait to get going. So, I'm talking to you after the first in if I'm awake. It's very tired and driving these things in the heat. So, yeah, I'll chat to you then. So, I've just finished my first in 24 hour kart race. It was, oh, it was just extreme manic, was not the word to describe it. We had a full on Le Mans start, run to the car, jump in. I managed to gain a couple of places off of that, but then they put me right in the mayhem in the midfield, who seemed to forget it was a 24 hour race. So within two laps, I was facing backwards. It's unfortunate. So I ended up dead last, dropped 20 seconds on everybody. Managed to catch back up. We ended up back in P13 where I started. So we'll see what happens. 40 minutes is extremely demanding. It's been nearly 18, 19 degrees here. Your neck muscles, your arm muscles, everything just take a beating around there. So it's going to be definitely endurance is the word to describe this. It's an absolute workout. but. It is great crack all the same and this first stint over with plenty more to go. Here in White River, we're not having the greatest results. We've had a catalogue of problems. We have an engine keep one of the engines keeps cutting out on us, which is unfortunate. First half, my stint cut out again, just as an extra pit stop to get a restart. Then I had a clutch failure, so then, and then I was followed by puncture. So, yeah, we're also dead last, which means we've got a, a lot of work to do over the next 18 hours to try and catch back up. Uh, as far as it's going for me, uh, it's very different to what I'm used to. I mean, I did an hour stint there, and my god, I can feel it now. It is very tiring, it's very demanding. It's so much more physical on arms, legs, back, neck, everything. So, we'll see what happens now. We can try and, obviously, try and get back up through the pack, and we're going to hope that everyone else encounters some of the sort of problems we've had. But, uh, it's just a bit of crack now at the end of the day. I'm having great fun here, so...
past one in the morning here in White River. The race is still going on. We're now 13 and a half hours in. We're not going too badly now after the problems we've resolved from earlier between clutch failure, we losing an engine, and it turns out wheel sheared off as well, which I was asleep, I didn't even realise happened. So we don't have the greatest up, but we've caught our way back up now. And we're back up behind now the Fiat Racing Boys from Mondello, so we're gonna try and see if we can catch them. We've five laps on them behind. But it'd be nice to be able to run for the money anyway. Uh, as you can see, I'm about to step into my luxury accommodation for the weekend. Yeah, it's not exactly the Ritz, is it? This is what this is the glamorous life of a racing driver. You don't get five star hotels, you get your Chevrolet Matiz. With all 24 hours worth of stuff in that you've been living out of and the car's a mess. So yeah, I'm gonna grab some shut eye now and hopefully I don't have to wake up too soon. I've already done three one hour stints. My hands are killing me and blisters all over me. But at the end of the day, we're still having a bit of fun and that's all that matters. So I think it's time to hit the bed for once. It's now getting to the point where everyone's starting to make mistakes, everyone's starting to go off, there's a lot of cars off my last stint, I've managed to keep it going. I am having to drive one handed at the moment, my left hand is pretty much useless now thanks to blisters. Yeah, this 24 hour crack is not as easy as everyone thinks it is. So yeah, I'm having to drive with the most wonky sort of steering system ever known to man. But I managed to, I dragged about an hour out myself, but I'm struggling to do much more. People are driving one handed, it's taking my right arm, it's absolutely killing me. At the moment we're back into P17, but we're catching Vietnam ahead of us by about three seconds a lap. We don't know yet, we've got, still got another five hours to go and we have a lot of drivers to put in now in between them. So we'll see what happens after the problems we had yesterday. It's kind of, a, we're delighted to still be going like, and it's an absolute, it's just getting now, it's getting to the end now. We need to just keep going, keep going and then just hope we can finish it. I mean, I haven't great crack, I mean, my, Luxury accommodation gave me about an hour of sleep last night, so I'm not really with it this morning. You can probably tell that with the shoddy camera work. Yeah, and the fact that I can't really talk, so uh, yeah, just a bit stiff, a bit sore. Just time for breakfast, and then I've got to do one more stint, and that'll be done for 24 hours. Kart racing White River over for this year. We didn't quite just have the pace to hold off the Vietnam boys. They eventually just pipped us to the line. We still finished 15th, but despite the problems we had, which included the blown engine, a blown clutch, and a sheared wheel. I mean, it's kind of incredible. We're even anywhere near people at the times to finish the race. It's great crack. Massive thanks to everyone who gave the chance to take part. All the lads on the team, Damien, Peter, Luke, and all the lads from White River who jumped in at the last minute to give us a hand. Uh, special thanks to Guy Foster from White River and Leo Nutley from Motorsport Ali for giving me last minute drive on the Friday evening and great crack all weekend. I'll be talking to you next in Bishop's Court. I'm heading to Bishop's Court this weekend to kick off the Fiestas again. Hopefully we seem to have fixed the problems we incurred the last day. So until next time. <laughs>